Hey folks, so if you're watching this video, I will be on my way again to another whiskey fair, namely to the um, Palatina and tomorrow I will be on the whiskey spring. So yeah, normally it's in spring and not in autumn, but you know, due to the C word, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but so I'm really happy to visit two whiskey fairs again this weekend. And so yeah, if you're watching it, I will be on my way, but Anyway, today we have a Ben Romach from the Contra series. It's the Sherry Peated one. And that is how the whiskey looks like. But as always, I will first of all tell you some facts about the distillery. It was founded in 1898 by Brickman and Callum. But um, two years later, or, or two years later, the production started, but uh, the success uh, did not last so long. Uh, in the same year, the distillery had to close again. In 1911, Ben Roma was bought by Harvey McNair and Co. And they produce, produced whiskey until 1914. But then, I'm pretty sure most of you will know that, then the uh, barley shortage due to the First World War um, forced a lot of distilleries or most distillery um, to close, so including Ben Romach. So yeah, closing again. From 1966 to 1983, it was, uh, or whiskey was produced again, but later on it was closed again. And in 1919, uh, 1993, Gordon and McPhail bought the distillery and, there, and they started the, the production in 1997 again. Luckily for us, till today, without any other closings. So, yay! <laughs> so, the whiskey itself belongs, as I already mentioned, to the Contra series from Monroe Mach, um, where you find more peated ones. It's a sherry cask maturation in first fill sherry, hogs heads cask, and the phenol, le phenol level is 55 ppm. So, yeah, that's gonna be promising. It was distilled in 2012 and bottled in 2021. It comes with 46% of ABV and we have natural color and non chill filtered. So luckily, or because I have a friend um, who sent me over a sample like a few weeks or a month ago, before it was released in Germany, I was like, oh, that's so delicious. I need to buy one. So yeah, got my chance and uh, bought it. So I'm really excited if I will like it again. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I have like, I'm not sure um, if you know that, but sometimes when I'm cooking, yeah, I sometimes cook. <laughs> um, I need, or for different recipes, I need like sauteed cinnamon and ginger. And that reminds me of that. Combined with smoked bacon, which is quite interesting with the cinnamon, <laughs> but it's a, it's a real cool combination. And you have really nice chocolate notes with oranges. Like, do you know the orange chocolates? Um, yeah, that reminds me of that. Oh, it's delicious. I really like that. So, slanty guys. Mm. I really like the mouse feeling and I have like sorted pine needles. <laughs> I like that with uh, acacia honey, which is a really good combination as both uh, support each other. I like that. You find red berries and also like vanilla notes, but very um, in the background, which I like. Um, and you also have like roasted nuts and a light, light, really light chili note. Oh, I love that. So all components support each other very well. It's a really nice interaction between them all. And uh, due to experience, I can tell you that the finish is quite long. You have uh, spiciness again. This time you have more black pepper instead of chili notes, but I like that as well. And what I do like uh, in the finish, you find more wood notes in the, like in the end. So that's a really interaction. Oh yeah. so. I'm so happy that I like it again. I was a little bit afraid of that, but I love it. So for me, thumbs up. I bought it for 60 euros. And if you find it for that one, go and buy it. If you like Ben Roma, if you like Pete, if you like Sherry or the com combination of all three. <laughs> so yeah, thumbs up from my side. I really like it. Um, now, as always, you know, I'm curious. I want to know, do you like Ben Roma? And do you know the contrast series? And do you know this one? Or can you recommend another one? Just leave me a comment 
if you want to. And yeah, now I just can wish you a happy weekend. I hope you have like better weather than we do. For us it's like rainy and dark and gray, but that's perfect for this whiskey. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, and have a great weekend, have a great time and we see us next week. Bye.